What's up guys, it's Joe the Pro here back at it again with another video. Before this one starts today guys, I need you to please drop a like on it, hit subscribe and hit the post notification bell. Today what we are going to be covering is what to do if a bowling ball is traveling under the capping here underground and it comes off the track that is underground. We are going to cover how to go ahead and disassemble the capping and retrieve the ball. If you have worked in a bowling alley before or if you, ha if you are currently working in a bowling alley, you may know what I'm talking about already. So imagine you're working a night while well, there's league play going on or even open bowling in some cases and literally none of the people's balls are coming back. You, you go down in the back behind the pin spotters and you don't see any in the pit. There's nothing at the upfront return. So that leaves you at one alternative. There are somewhere underground in the capping here. The first step that you need to take is you have to locate what section of the lane that the balls are all under. But the easiest way that you can do that is definitely turn the power off to the pair of lanes that you're on. Make sure there are no more bowling balls that are going down the ball return because you definitely don't want to be looking down there and have one hit you in the head. That's definitely not any good. All right guys, so I've come up to the front of the masking unit here and basically what I'm going to do, I've already turned the power off to the machines in the back. So there's no way these pin spatters are turning back on and Make sure that your bowlers who are bowling are not bowling at all. Make sure they are sitting. Don't let them throw the ball on you. So I'm going to carefully lift up the masking unit. And if you will follow me, kind cameraman, we are going to come down to the chute where the ball goes down underground from the machine. You are going to uh, want to have a flashlight and this is why I said to make sure the power to the machines is turned off because you're going to be sticking your head down in here right here and if somebody if there's a ball stuck in the back or something or in the ball lift you never know you just don't want a ball coming down the chute while your head is in there it's not gonna end well I promise you are going to want to get a flashlight I'm going to use my phone flashlight in this case and you are going to want to look down the chute so you're not going to be, be able to see it because of the lighting but just you may be able to see where the balls all are stuck from here and then once you spot them down there because they're going to be down there um, at my place we have plywood on either side of the track so the ball actually can't come fully off the track but if there's something blocking it it'll still be on the track but anyway you'll be able to see it if you look down there so kind of approximate where they are and that'll tell you what section of the capping you will need to remove. All right guys, so after I've located where the bowling balls are, in my case there's only one, lucky me, this cap, this piece of capping is already unscrewed here. But if it's different for you, yours might be somewhere in the middle there and your capping should all be screwed on. So the, this is old wood capping, so there's only one side that has screws on it because the other side has hinges. But generally you're going to want a impact gun with either a Phillips head or a flat head to remove the capping. And you'll see how I just lift this off here because this one's already unscrewed. These are at hinges, but on a normal occasion you're going to just be able to take the capping right off. So I'm going to go ahead and lift this up here. And, oh wow, I wonder how that ended up in there. So as you can see, a uh, weird looking pin kind of got in there and blocked the bowling ball from returning to the upfront ball return. So what we are going to do, remember that the power to the machine is off, so there's no way it's going to turn on on you. So it's safe to put your hand down in there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the pin. Huh, I wonder how that got in there. I was looking for that. And then go ahead and remove any of the bowling balls that are down in there. In that case, that was pretty easy because the pin just got down in there and I was able to remove it and take the bowling ball out and it was all fine. But in some cases, the ball may come off the track due to a few different things. One example is the track could actually be loose or even broken. And that if there are any obstacles in the track or if it's cracked somehow or the rubber on the sides is worn, it may even, it may, that may cause the ball to come off the track. Another example of a cause for the ball to come off the track, this has actually happened here before. Now, if you come in here, you can see that there's wiring that actually runs along the bottom of the lanes here down to the sides of the tracks. I've actually seen 
a piece of wire get across the track like that and it actually caused the bowling ball to kind of shake on the track they didn't fall off obviously because we have the boards but they were actually the balls were actually getting nicked from hitting the side of the up front ball return so you're definitely going to want to make sure that your tracks are clear and they are safe for the bowling ball to move smoothly down. Now lastly, after you clear the jam and make sure that the track's all good to go and inspect it, you're going to now want to put the capping back on. So real simple, you're just placing the capping back on top of the middle here where the track is. And if you took the screws out, you're definitely going to want to put them back in so the cap doesn't come off. These ones up here, I, I'm not sure why, but they've always, they've never had screws in them. I'm probably going to go ahead and install the screws all in them again. But anyways, make sure you screw, you screw them in and you should be good to go as long as you have no obstacles on the track. All right guys, I hope this video was fun to watch and it gave you a little bit of info on the underground ball return system on an AMF pin spotter. Before I go ahead and, re well, put this pin back for safe keepings and return the bowling ball to the bowler. I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any other suggestions for future videos, please comment them down below or email us at joethepro181 at gmail.com. Please like, subscribe, and peace, and do it like a pro. We'll see you guys in the next one.